Good afternoon, my name is John Johnson. I'm with Cribmaster, a division of Stanley Black & Decker. I wanted to take a little while today and talk with you about Cribmaster inventory management solutions, specifically those solutions for manned and unmanned tool cribs and store rooms. Uh, before we get started, I thought it might be nice to show you our corporate manufacturing facility here. Uh, we um, Cribmaster ships about 7,000 machines a year. As a matter of fact, if you zoom in over there, uh, Ed Reeves is our cameraman today, so I'll be talking to Ed throughout the presentation. Ed, if you zoom over, you'll see one of the Blackwood Smart Stock units over there. Uh, and so although we ship many vending machines, Cribmaster is first and foremost an inventory management software company. Uh, the company was formed in 1992, and for the first 11 years, all we did was crib software and storeroom software. And then after that, we got into the vending piece of it. Uh, so I wanted to at least give you a look at the uh, facility that we're work out of and uh, now let's take a few minutes and go inside and look at the point of use solutions. Great. So we're in the Cribmaster demonstration area now. We have one of all of our vending machines and all of our point of use devices set up in this uh, area. First thing you'll see here is what we call a Cribmaster point of use device. It's a combination um, touch screen as well as a computer and the Cribmaster software is on this system. This is primarily what I'm going to work with, and this would be what you might use whether you were in an unmanned storeroom or a manned storeroom, and we'll walk through both scenarios. Over here on the left is a Prox card reader. This is where I might use my employee card. Typically, we'll use your cards and just uh, uh, scan those into the reader. And over here on the left-hand side is I have a wedge reader or scanner that I'll use for barcodes. That's what I'm going to primarily talk about today. So the first thing I'll do if I'm an employee, I may just want to find out if I have inventory on an item. I can walk up to the screen and Ed, if you'll zoom a little bit on this uh, find item here, I can push the find item button. And uh, perhaps I want to find out if there's a drill in this storeroom. I'll simply type in the word drill, hit enter, and it'll tell me yes, I do have drills in this storeroom. I'll double click on it. And you'll see that I have a three-quarter inch Black & Decker drill in this storeroom. Now, if I didn't have inventory at the time, I may want to go a step further and hit the button over here. If you can see it, it's called All Cribs. I'll click on All Cribs. And you'll see when I do that, it tells me what inventory I have not only in this storeroom, but on any storeroom that's in the network uh, that has inventory on the drill. And if I click down on one of these others, for example, a Pro Stock, the detail behind that item and tell me exactly what type of drills in there. Uh, so this is a great way for me as an employee to find out if I have inventory available, available here and if I don't, where I need to go to get that inventory. So I'm going to log out right now and I'll scan my badge. It's a standard prox reader badge. I'll scan it. And once I scan it, a list of items in this storeroom comes up. Now I do have the ability to touch an item right here and hit the issue button and it'll give me that item. Uh, it'll show it, you'll see that it'll show it up on the store on the screen. But normally what happens is that an individual would pick up a scanner like this one and if they have this set up in the front of the storeroom, they'll bring that item to the front of the storeroom. Maybe they'll have four or five items with them and they'll just scan them and issue them out. So I've got a couple, you'll see I've got an orange brush here. I'll simply scan that. And I've also got a drill, that three-quarter inch drill here. I'll shoot my barcode on that. And then I'll go ahead and take an, a hammer. Now each of those items have their own barcode on it, so it's very easy for me to bring those in, that inventory up and scan it out as I need it. I may have other inventory in shelves or, for example, in a drawer like this one that I want to scan, for example, in this drawer. And so, Ed, if you'll zoom in a little bit, you'll see that I do have a barcode on the back of each of these bins. I can shoot that barcode and you'll see that that item appears and I have two there now and as I continue to shoot I may have more. A lot of times our customers will use a cheat sheet like this one. If you can zoom in and get a look at the cheat sheet you'll see I have quantities on here so if I want to issue 10 of this particular item I simply shoot that barcode and you'll see that 10 comes up in that location. I can also clear an item off or I could log out uh, using this um, cheat sheet. I'll go ahead, I could have a scan for an issue, but what I'll do is just hit the issue button and all those items have now been issued to me. Now, 
Typically this uh, system will log out within four to six seconds because it's in a demo area and uh, sometimes the sales guys get a little long-winded. We don't log it out that quickly. So what I'll do now is just reach up, hit the log out button, and you'll see I'm logged out and I'm ready for the next employee. Uh, I don't have to use a prox card here. I might use just a list of employees with the, um, and each one of them might have their own PIN number. For example, on this screen over here, can you zoom over to here? All the employees are listed. They have their PIN numbers. They'd simply come in, find their name, put their PIN number in, and then they'd have uh, access to go out and issue their tools. So I've issued my tools now, and if I were in a man tool crib, then I would log in as the tool crib attendant. And as employees came up, I would simply scan their badge and do exactly the same thing. I would go and scan all the items, the barcodes of the items that I were issuing to them. So typically this can be used in an unmanned environment or a manned environment, uh, and uh, it works equally well in either manner. So now I've uh, selected a few items. Let's go back in and I'll scan my badge. And once I get into the uh, system again, what I'm going to do is I've used my drill for a couple of hours. I'm ready to bring it back. I'm going to hit the return button. Now you'll remember that I have several items out. I've got the uh, claw hammer and I've got the drill out. Those are both of my durable items. The system knows that they need to be returned. So I can touch the screen and return this drill or I can simply shoot the barcode again. And you'll see that that drill uh, gets highlighted and it's disappeared, it's returned. And I also can hit the hammer, the claw hammer. Now all of my items have been returned. And that way, they go off of my checked out items list. If items aren't returned in a timely manner, for example, a day or two days, the way you set the system up, then you'll get out a, a items checked out not returned list that'll go to the supervisors. And those reports can be emailed once a day or once a week or on any pre-scheduled time that you want. I'll log out of the system now, and I'm back into my scan mode. Okay. So one approach that many of our customers use is to use a, is to build an uh, indirect materials inventory catalog. And in that case, what they do is simply scan in and they bring their items up, but rather than using the touch screen, they may just find that item in their catalog and shoot that item and issue that item. And you'll see that those items get issued on the screen. Some customers even go to the point, if they have a lot of turnover, of putting uh, photographs or images by those items on the barcode. So now I might just say, yes, I want this pair of gloves, shoot the barcode right beside it, and it'll issue that pair of gloves out to me. It makes it very easy to train the employees, particularly if you have a good bit of turnover or if people are moving within the enterprise. Okay. So let's suppose that I've scanned into the system and I'm not bringing all my items up. I have a storeroom that's uh, uh, relatively small, let's say 50 feet or 12 to 15 uh, meters across. I have the ability then to use a wireless Bluetooth scanner like this one. It connects right up to my point of use device. It's good for uh, 12 to 15 meters. And so what we'll do now is we'll move across the room and I'll show you how I might issue from bins that are set up to be used with the wireless device. Okay, Ed, let's move to the other side of the room.